Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project, Flight Ticket Booking System. And I have developed this project in Spring Boot, Angular, and MySQL. So Spring Boot microservices we are using. Also for JDK version, we are using JDK 1.8. And HTS ID, we are using to write the codes in Spring Boot. And uh, for server, I'm using the Tomcat server. Right. On the front end side, we have used the Angular. Angular version 12 we are using. And uh, for ID, we are using Visual Studio, right? Also MySQL version 5.6 we are using and uh, some of the HTML, CSS, and some of the libraries we are using for developing this, uh, developing the UI of this project, right? So these all technology stacks we have used for developing this flight ticket booking system project, right? So let's start with the functionality, go through that, what we have implemented, what are the features available inside this project, how many modules are available, what this project does, right? So these all things we are going to explain in this project, right? So the project title is Flight Ticket Booking System and it's a major project developed in Spring Boot, Angular and MySQL, right? Major project because it has admin panel as well as customer panel, right? So we have integrated three types of UI, <laughs> UI user interface for developing this project. So it's a very big project, it's a very major project. It's a major project, right? So for running this project, you can use a port 4200 and the API we are use, running on the port 8080 port, right? So if you want to see the structure explanation of this project, means what is the folder structure, what, how we have developed, what how we have arranged the folder structure, then you can see our folder structure explanation on our YouTube channel or our or on our website to see the full folder structure explanation. We have created the tutorial video for that, right? So let's start with the functionality go through, right? So once you run this project, you will get this home page, right? So this is the home page, right? In this home page, this is a search box, right? And these are some of the routes, right? You can see these are the routes and these are coming from the database, right? For, through the API service, right? Here you can search the flight, right? Suppose if I search Delhi, Gaya, right? Anything you can search, right? Number of passengers and this one, then it will show, okay. One more thing. So this is the op uh, operational search, right? That search will redact it to this page, right? So you can search from here Delhi to Gaya, right? So this route I have added, right? And the this one search, you can see once you click on the search, the planes, the flights are coming, which provides their operations between that route, right? Okay, so this is the home page which I already explained to you. This is the about page. This is about the this is a search flight. From here you can search the flight, and this is a customer login. From here, customer can log in. Admin login, I will explain you later. This registration, if you don't have the user ID and password, then you can register from here and you can create your user ID and password. This is a contact us page. This is a dynamic contact us page and what you fill here will be displayed on the admin panel. This is a feedback of the website. So what will you fill here will be displayed, displayed on the admin panel also, right? So there is a restriction in the project. You can't book the flight without login, right? There is a restriction for that, right? So I'm going to log in as a customer. So the user ID is amit at the rate gmail.com and password is test. Once you log in, you will get this dashboard here. You can see search flight, my bookings, my account. Once you click on the search flight, it will show the same page, right? Once you click on the my bookings, it will show your all bookings, which you have made earlier. Once you click on this arrow icon, you will be able to see the details of that booking, right? This uh, my account section from where you will be able to see your account details, right? So the these all data is coming from the database through the microservices, which we have developed in Spring Boot, right? So now I am going to book some flight. So this is a Delhi, and the second one is a Gaya. Total passenger I am going to add to this one, and I am going to travel on 29th of July 2022. Once you click on the search, it will show both. All of the flights which belongs to that route, right? So once you hover that, then it it will show the details. And once you click on the details, it will show the details of this page, right? So this is the details, and this is all of the information of this page, right? 
once you click on the book ticket then this is the validated if it is saying that select this field and this all thing so these all pages are validated so what is the ticket type economy or business class so once you click on the economy then you need to pay 1500 rupees per passenger and for the business fare you need to pay 1700 rupees per passenger right i'm going to choose economy and here i need to enter the passenger details for booking the flight you need at least one passenger i am adding multiple passengers for sure age 45 gender this one male add passenger right sorry yeah you can see this passenger has been added here and i am atul kumar that's 54 and then me add passenger again priyanka okay age 23 29 gender female right so i have added three of the passenger here right so these three are the passengers once i click on the book passenger then the total fare will be 4500 according to the 50 1500 rupees per passenger it will be calculated on the fare fare detail space so this is the payment page here you can see this 1400 has been captured and you can't edit it because it's a read only field right you need to enter the card number here right this is the dummy card page there is no need of entering the correct credit card details here the name on the card you can enter the name on the card and the card type year and the month once you click on the make payment you will be able to see all of the details and you can print the receipt here right you can see all of the booking details here the passenger details here right you can see go on the my bookings and you can see all of the details here also right so my bookings have i think what is the latest booking number that is the 37353 right this one right uh, i think there is a 372 is the latest one now uh, 75 right okay so it will show your booking details here right uh, i need to short the uh, here right through 377 is the i think latest one delhi to gaya yeah this one right this is the passenger now you can see these are the passenger details here right okay so once you click on the logout then this is a session driven menu the data, the session may be destroyed and menu will not be displayed right so log out you can see this is the login this is the menu which will be displayed uh, before the session and if you log in then the session will be the menu will, item will be different right now i am going to log in as a admin panel right so for admin panel you can click on the admin login so this is the diff second layout right so customer was the first layout this is the second layout right so the user id is admin and the password is test right once you log in you will get this admin dashboard right you can see these all of the menu operations admin can perform you can go on the page either click on this menu action or this menu right so this is the third layout right so we have integrated three types of layout in angular right so once you click on the airlines management you will be able to see all of the airlines which you have added here right so we have added four airlines so four airlines details are displaying here once you click on the add airlines you will be able to see the add airlines form from here you can add any number of airlines so you can see the drop down these all drop downs are dynamic and data are coming from the back end panel through spring boot and the angular spring boot in microservices this is a route management all of the routes which that airlines follow right so an airline can uh, go or follow the multiple routes then you can add one airline with the multiple route right so these are the routes management you can add the new route from here right so arrival time departure time economy fare each and everything you can uh, add from here right this is a city management so all of the cities uh, which we have will be displayed here you can add new city from here too this is a category management and the these are the company reports all of the company right this is all bookings which has been made by the customer will be displayed here so this is the last booking which i have displayed so you can see this is the booking here right this is a customer management all of the customer who has registered on our website will be displayed here right 
this is a contact support as i told you earlier so the contact space so all of the contacts are things will be displayed here this is a feedback all of the feedback which has been given by the customer will be displayed here and the last thing is the logout right once you click on the logout then you will be redacted to the login page right so you can see you have redacted to the login page right so these are all functionalities we have developed inside this project flight ticket booking system as i told you earlier this is a major project developed in spring boot angular and mysql right and we are using the sts spring boot tool suits and the visual studio code id for developing this project and the port we are using port 8080 and port 4200 right so these all things we have implemented these all features we have developed inside this project if you need more enhancement if you need extra features in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to the requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much